PCI Express is an industry standard computer expansion bus released way back in 2003. While PC motherboards became available with this in 2004, no PowerPC Mac with PCI Express was available to the consumer market until October 19th, 2005. What if I told you there is actually a way to install a PCI Express slot into your PowerPC Mac? Turns out, there's an adapter for that. At the time of this video, the generic adapter is available on eBay. It features a Broadcom PEX8112 Lane PCI Express to PCI Bridge chip. The chip has a single PCI Express slot that operates as a single 1x link, operating at a maximum of 250 megabytes per second. The PEX8112 chip supports PCI version 3, operates at a maximum of 66 megahertz 32-bit wide parallel data path is tolerant of the 3.3 and 5 volt pci power standards among other features in this video i'll show you some of the devices i tested in both a power mac g4 and a power mac g5 This Mac already has the slot installed. Everything's good to go. Check this out. Got the device showing up as a PCI bridge. The OWC Mercury showed up as a drive under disk utility. Unfortunately, we can't boot off of it. All right, let's go ahead and get this adapter installed. Get this screwed into place. And now a PCI Express OWC Mercury Excelsior in a Power Mac G4. Whoa, it works. It's asking me if I wanna use it as a backup disc. This right over here is a 1999 Power Mac G4 AGP graphics, PCI to PCI Express bridge. Would you look at that? Let's see how fast it runs under Xbench. Oh, <laughs> not that fast. Really not fast. Okay, so storage devices are cool, but what else? Why don't we take this up a notch? Why don't we try running a graphics card? As crazy as this looks, Take a look. PCI, PCI Express, adapter, late 2005 Power Mac G5, NVIDIA G4 6600LE, cinema display. Huh, well, that's strange. This worked on the Power Mac G5. I spoke way too soon, I swear. I was recording this, preparing for this not to work. works. This is amazing. I mean, I have no words. I'm definitely going to have to unplug the X850 XT. I don't want to run into any issues, especially running both an ATI and NVIDIA graphics card at the same time. Whoa, <laughs> there's no way. <laughs> I'm amazed that this worked on this computer. I wasn't expecting that. Let's try something else. How about 
an unflashed PC NVIDIA GeForce 7800 GT. It's a BFG model, and this is something that can be flashed to work on a PowerPC Mac. Let's see if it works with a PC BIOS. Since this graphics card needs an additional six pin power adapter, let's grab a perfectly suited power adapter out of this mystery box. Oh, would you look at that? Molex to PCI Express, how convenient. Can you tell I like to modify my computers? <laughs> All right, fan power's up. We'll see if Mac OS Leopard accepts this graphics card. Okay, so right now I'm doing a screen sharing session with my Power Mac G4. And as it turns out, because it has a PC graphics card, I can't use the 7800 GT until I flash it. However, it does detect over the PCI Express bus. All right, so then how about a graphics card from an Intel Mac? Yeah, so when I have an Intel graphics card plugged in, it does this thing. like the LSI logic card works. I don't have anything to test it with, but the fiber card works. Unfortunately, the Titan Ridge is a no-go. I can't even charge my iPhone off of it. All I get is this. Thank you so very much for taking the time out of your day to watch this crazy computer project of mine. If you like it, drop a like, leave a comment or a question below. I don't have all of the devices to test what does and doesn't work, so I encourage others out there to test their devices out with their computers. Thank you so very much and have a great rest of your day.